and you probably know the the work of Ian McGilchrist, who's been a friend of mine for nearly forty years, yeah. um, on this on left and right hemisphere dominance. I think his fundamental point that we live in an imbalanced left hemisphere literal world, um, which doesn't understand the symbolic, uh, and which you also see in, in, in reductionism in science, which you were mentioning a moment ago, which then devalues these other ways of knowing. Mm. And when in fact, um, all scientific advance depends on intuitive insight, um, which is then you know, worked out by the analytical mind, which is what Ian explains. He says that the right hemisphere is, is the hemisphere of creativity and novelty. Mm-hmm. And once you've had an insight, um, as Einstein also expressed, then you can send it back to the left hemisphere for processing and a discursive yes. exposition of it. Um, and then it should get sent back to the, to the right hemisphere for a further intuitive integration.